This is it, guys. The final episode of season four in my MGH United Road to Glory. The glory is Premier League football. It's Champions League football. And we are so nearly there. As you can see, we're still in second place. We've got that four point gap. Nottingham Forest have scored so many goals, it doesn't even fit in the column. <laughs> They've now scored 100 goals. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that with three games remaining. I would need to score five a game. I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, Nottingham Forest have been the best side by far. And we are just about to take them on. Let's do the press conference. I don't do them very often. So you, we'll do one arguably for the toughest conference. game of the season. And uh, giving them another loss would be ideal here. We're almost there with promotion. I think I said it at the end of yesterday's episode. I think if I win this, I think second place will be ours. I'm feeling very confident. Uh, we've got goals in us for sure. And then what are they going to ask us last? Can you keep this great run going? Let's not get distracted. Look at the team morale. Very happy. Okay. So what do I do against Nottingham Forest? How do I not lose? Um... They play two up top, so maybe I go three at the back. It's worth it. It's worth a shot. Let me just change their away kit first. Or change two their away kit, I mean. It's almost like we're playing against Sweden. Um, should I play Larsen? <laughs> right, let's go ahead and play with three at the back. Do I want to go two strikers? I don't think so. I think I want to go with... I'm feeling a 3-4-2-1, but maybe we drop the left-sided player and right-sided player a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going to play without wing-backs, though. I'm going to go with... Hmm. How do I do this? Do I go with Insua? I haven't used him for a while. And I've really enjoyed using Gunther. Do you know what? Gunther is going to go on that left side. And I'm going to play Gordon on the right side, and that means we can have Vialba come in. Hmm, it's not the strongest midfield, is it? Okay, hang on. Durand and Hall. Okay, Branthwaite, and I guess Ito has to play in the middle, so there's no place for Vialba, but this is a very, very strong side. Gordon isn't in his best position now. I'm wondering if it's a bit of a, bit of a silly idea. Why don't I just put uh, where is he? Bolton back in. Yeah, I think I think it's probably the best idea. And let's get rid of Oakley Booth. So it's definitely a little bit of a strange decision to swap it up in such a big game. But with two strikers up against three centre-backs, with Gunther and Bolton getting back, I think we should be okay. And we've got a lot of players that can get forward and be dangerous on the break. Just a reminder... Nottingham Forest have only lost one game. One. We cannot not beat them. Oh, has it not even saved? Oh, I hate this. Look at that. Why? Why does it do this? It's such a broken game, man. Let me just change everything again. Just to make sure everyone's in the right position. Why, why does it do that? I, I just don't know. But anyway, it's an easy fix. I really, really can't. Let them beat us twice this season. I can't allow that to happen. So let's see if we can get a win. We're already going to be getting Gordon in potentially. He's not going to get there. Oh, it's not a great clearance. Go on. Gunther's done a really good job to get that. Cross coming in. Oh, Gordon, mate. I know you're a winger, but surely you can get that on target. Well, that works. Oh, Oh, what a goal. That is what you call a team goal, a ticky-tacka goal. The one-touch passing, everyone finding a bit of space. That's what you want to see. It's actually not one-touch passing. Gordon did take a touch, but he, he's not made the keeper, I think. Barrett, you cheeky guy. Has he actually put it through his legs? He has. Oh, poor guy. Right, we're 1-0 up. Where is this Nottingham Forest that's been so good, eh? Where are they? Come on, then. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I take it back. No, I don't. Ha <laughs> ha. Rubbish. Let's go. Barrett. Taking on two, three, four of them. Through. Oh, please. Gunther's through. What are you doing here? Go on. Oh, how is he not scoring there? Oh, my God. Okay. Well, the corner comes in. We could still score from this. Go on, Ito. It's off the line. No. 
That's not a good clearance, is it? Oh! And we almost scored from it. They are really struggling defensively. And the setup I've gone with is working so well. Go on. Omibamadeli! How many chances have we had now? I feel like we could be 2 or 3 nil up. And honestly, Nottingham Forest have not been able to string anything together. And I think three centre-backs versus two strikers is the way. Here is Dennis, though. He has Premier League experience, but I don't, I don't think he's done very well there at all. That was bad play. Yeah, I'll just flick that through. Easy. Top of the league. 100 goals scored. One loss. Doesn't matter. You've come to the United Arena. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to sound odd, but this is not an easy place to come and get points. All right. 2 nil up. Almost half time. Imagine a third goal. I'd actually... Oh, that would be hilarious. Jump to result against the best team in the league. Surely not. Last chance before the break. Come on. Imagine the scenes. Oh, I've just given it away. That's fine. Half time. So far, this has been a 9 out of 10 performance. The only thing I could have done better is score 3 or 4. Otherwise, it has been very, very good. <laughs> good luck. Barrett's going to win this every time. They basically didn't bother. Into Zabios here. Near post. Oh, I really want that third goal. Come on, let's get it from the corner. We've got some tall players in the box, including Branthwaite. Oh, Ito. Oh, I thought Branthwaite was going to get to that one. Maybe he would have scored it. Another corner comes in. Oh, Ito again. Durand. <laughs> Why didn't he just head that back across? He could have easily got that one. He's so tall. Oh, look at the through ball. Yes. Even if it's with your head, that's fine. And Gordon's in. Is he onside? He is. Is this the moment? It is. Watch this, guys. We are going to jump to result against the league leaders. And it's... Oh, it stayed 3-0. What a game, though. Absolutely incredible. And surely that means second place is ours. We can find out now. I mean, I think it's done. Yeah, it is. It's done. Bournemouth and Norwich only have one more game. They're both too many points behind... So it is official, guys. We are Premier League bound and we are now just two games away from having the mighty Thomas back. <laughs> I can't wait. I was going to say in a couple of episodes ago, but I, I don't think I did in the end, that if I wasn't promoted to the Premier League this season, I would sell Thomas as a punishment. Now that we're in the Premier League, I don't have to worry about that. He is going to be staying and he is going to be starting so we can go ahead and quick sim the last two games of the season. It's another 2-0 win. Barrett scoring again. Durand in the first half. Very nice. And let's finish strongly. Let's get one more win and finish on a high against Reading away from home. It's a shame we're not going to be winning the championship, but we were so far off Nottingham Forest for the majority of this season we smashed them at the end, though, and that's that's a big, big result for us. Well, we finished with a two-all draw. Nothing too exciting, nothing too bad either. It does mean, though, we haven't been beaten in the last few games of the season. We didn't bottle it. And for some reason, my manager rating is still relatively low. So Norwich did finish in fourth. Bournemouth finishing in third. Our record... Oh, wow. Nottingham Forest lost again. Wow. I mean, it was over. Who cared, right? But we finished the season after 46 games with 29 wins, 10 draws, 7 losses. We almost scored 100 goals. We needed 8 more. 46 conceded. I think that's very reasonable, actually. Uh, so a goal difference of plus 46. And we were 3 points away from hitting 3 digits. Not bad. Not bad at all. Going down into League 1, it is Coventry, Peterborough and Stoke. Goodbye, Stoke. So there it is, guys. The season is finished. Of course, Zibios and Ito will be leaving. I'm a bit sad about Zibios leaving. Ito's good, but we can definitely survive without him. I think Zibios is someone we need to bring back. I've really, really enjoyed him. Um, and there is 8.4 million in the bank. Thank you very much. That's for finishing second in the championship. So what we're going to do is simulate at least a week or two here. Just get forward a little bit and then we'll work out who's won the playoffs. We'll look at some other leagues and stuff like that. Right. 
we should have enough information. Let's have a look at our squad stats as well. So, most appearances is normally the goalkeeper, and there it is. Almost 80 rated now. Wow. Durand has gone up by six this season. He is incredible. Um, so, in the end, Barrett did catch up a little bit with goals scored. And here is proof that Zabios was very good for us. Plus four, 16 goals, eight assists in 42 appearances on loan. That is very, very impressive. To give that some perspective, um, who else has got around 42 games and plays an attacking role? I don't think there is anyone, actually. Okay, well, um, Arp played 19 and got two goals. Says a lot, really, doesn't it? <laughs> Larson did okay. Three goals in his 13 appearances, but we need to be seeing more from him. But yeah, really, really happy with how the season's turned out. I was worried that we might not have enough to even get into the playoffs, but we did it. And we're going straight into the Premier League. In terms of our ratings in the team, we've got two players that are 80 rated now, and they're both centre-backs. Branthwaite has gone up to 80 already. Wow. Thomas, 81. So that's that's going to be great for next season. Holloway, 79, along with Gordon, Barrett, Bolton and Zabias are 78. The team is, is looking really strong. There's one player, though, Gunther. Really, really happy with his performances in this episode. And I think I played him a few times in recent games. He's such a good player. Obviously, he started at 73. We then converted him to a wing back. And he lost a lot of his rating, but he's almost got it all back in just one season. So that's that's really impressive. In terms of market value, Barrett is now our most expensive player. How does that make sense? I mean, he's the same age, but lower rated than Thomas. How's he got a lower... Is it is it his potential that could be influencing that price? He's gone up by 195%. I don't know if Barrett's future is at striker or left wing. Of course, his future is at this club. We're not letting him go. But um, Thomas will be starting up front next season. Of course he will. So I think maybe we convert Barrett to a left winger. And then maybe we don't need Zabios. I don't know. But uh, for now, we've got a bunch of players worth over 20 million. A lot of players worth kind of, you know, between 10 and 20 million. Who's our cheapest player then? Piet Harris. I haven't really used him too much. He's a squad player. Blackman as well. He will be leaving. Uh, who else will be leaving? Let's go by age. Vialba's going to stay. As far as I'm concerned, he's going nowhere. He's he's almost a bit of a club legend. Maya will be leaving. Blackman will be leaving. Of course, Ito will be going. We'll keep Johansson. Good backup keeper. I think everyone else stays. Oh, Arp. Arp is gone. He will not be staying. Let's go ahead and take a look at some other leagues here. So in League One, who's coming up to... The, uh, the championship, we've got Birmingham and Plymouth, and then we've got Portsmouth, Cambridge and Barnsley and Bolton playing in the playoffs. Who's coming down into the championship from the Premier League? Oh, Spurs won the league. Nah, let's, let's not. Coming down, Fulham, Watford and Sheffield United. So we will be joining Brighton, Everton, Villa, Brentford, Leicester, Leeds, Crystal Palace, Wolves, Southampton, Man United, Newcastle, Arsenal, West Ham, Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea and Spurs. Interesting. But who is coming up with us? I'll check the other leagues as well. I know a lot of people like to see that. Let's have a look in France. No surprise there. PSG won the, the title. League 2, Montpellier. Fair enough. Bundesliga, we've got Bayern, no way. Only 69 points, though. Wait, it is finished, right? They only play 34 games, yeah. Okay, um, what else? Serie A, Milan, not Inter. That is a close run-in, wow. They had very similar records. It's just a bunch of draws that has ruined Inter's season there. Eredivisie, I'm guessing PSV. No, Feyenoord, fair, fair play to them. Um... Portugal, we've got Porto, and then we'll check La Liga as well. Barcelona by two points. Gosh, that's close. And then over in, wow, what? Over in Scotland, it's not Rangers or Celtic, it's Hearts. Okay, fair enough. Um, I need to find out what's happened in the playoffs. <gasps> Bournemouth are doing it. 
They are going up into the Premier League again. They've won against Norwich. Interesting. Blackburn really struggled, didn't they? And Bristol as well. Okay, so what, what do we do with the side next season? It's going to be a really, really tricky first season in the Premier League, but having someone like Thomas come back is going to be absolutely huge. Uh, our defence is very strong. I'm happy with Hunter, Branthway, Omobamadeli and Bolton. I won't be making any changes there. Holloway, perfectly happy with him in goal. Durand and Hall, again, very, very happy with that. I need his shooting to go up a little bit, though, because then he'll be all green. Um, same with Durand soon. Wait, Hall has better defending than Durand. How does that make any sense? Gordon's almost 80 rated. There's no way I'm changing him. Perez is the future in this position. Zabios, maybe we get him, maybe we don't. I'm quite happy to have Barrett on that left wing when we get Thomas back, potentially. Let's compare Barrett and Zabios. Yeah, I mean... The thing that really lets Barrett down is his passing, but it's not too bad now. 66 isn't too bad at all. So maybe we convert him back to that left wing position. In terms of players leaving, of course, Arp will be going, but Thomas comes in, so that replaces him. But then we might still need a striker if Barrett's going left wing. Meyer will be gone uh, and Blackman will be gone, so we will need another centre back there. And of course, Ito is only on loan, so we will need another centre back there. Maybe we will try and sign him. I don't know. But that's it, guys. We just need to check the objectives and then we're done for the season. So we have a 65 manager rating. It's not very good, is it? We didn't do the youth development. We completed the brand exposure. Domestically, it was a very low priority. I don't understand how that can be low, let alone very low. We just won automatic promotion and you don't even care <laughs> quarterfinals in the FA Cup as well uh, financially we were never going to reduce the wages that's such a stupid one when you're climbing the English leagues but that was a high priority so no wonder the manager rating is weak but it's still stupid isn't it it really is but for now guys that is it new kits new players Maybe a new stadium at some point. I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that for this Road to Glory. But of course, a new league. We are Premier League bound. In the next episode, Thomas comes back. We'll make some signings and we will kick off our Premier League season, which is, of course, season five.